on men and the reason I do that interesting is when you get a European bra you're not just getting a bra that's pretty but you're getting a bra that fits well that's going to be strong and stable and also give you great beauty Most women don't know how a bra actually functions, so when we come to when people come to intimacy, that's right. what we teach them. Okay, and it's because women's breasts can weigh anywhere from ten ounces. Feel that? It's filled oh, wow. with beans. Okay, that's neat. Ten yeah. ounces to here's four pounds each breast. Whoa. Eight pounds. Holy okay. moly! Right? Those are some that, heavy boobies. <laughs> right? It's starting to get heavier. But the real challenge is when someone is full busted like this, and we actually have customers where their breasts are 10 pounds each. I often put, put this on men, and the reason I do that, oh, be careful, honey, we're going to, I have to hold you up. Isn't this amazing? But I do this to simulate kind of like what it's like for women who are really full or busted. Clearly, you wouldn't want to be that full. And so it's really challenging. And you can see how much weight that Holy cow. <laughs> I'm so afraid to let go of you. You're going to fall right over. This is a 38K. Wow. So um, if I had a gal who was a 32 double J, so she was pretty full, and she's about in her mid, mid to late 50s. Yeah, and the weight on her shoulders has been so strenuous for so long. I mean, all you would want to do is get out of the yeah. bra and yeah. let them, yeah, let them girls yeah. out. To let you know you guys are full and busted, but yeah. because I'm a small busted girl, I wear these every day. Oh wow. So when you're small busted, sometimes yeah. yeah. And what's so interesting is these are so called, cool. called nearly me. Yeah. And it's made of silicone. That's actually what like you it, know, it's yeah. like a regular implant. It, it's that's what it feels like. Crosslink silicone, so it's yeah. safe, it's medical grade. Fantastic. And do they just stick to the skin or is there some kind of no, um, just adhesive? Kind of, no, you don't even need that because it's gonna slip right into the bra and fit and perfectly in there. In the U.S., we have seven cup depths that we right. go to, and you rarely see the last one, which is triple, uh, quadruple Ds. Right. They just don't really exist that much. But in Europe and in the U.K., we make a lot more cup sizes. Okay. But the principles are still the same between right. the U.S. and no matter what you call okay. them. Okay. Um, the principles are all the same. So what we focus on is getting the right bandwidth. We mm -hmm. know that the bandwidth is extremely important to getting the right support. I'll share that with you in just a second, and then we work to get the cup depth afterwards. Okay. Okay. Because once the bandwidth is properly engaged, you're going to have 90% of your support. Okay. And so um, that's what we, we practice in terms of a fitting method and model as opposed to a tape measure. Okay. Why do we do that? Well, women's breasts, you know, as we showed you before, can be different sizes. Right. They can distribute differently. Some people feel like they're more pendulous. Other people feel like they're more perky. Right. Some people feel like they're really round. Yeah. You know? So everyone's breast shape is different. Do you think Very that's the most, common like the most common misconception is that you're going for cup sizes? and not the bandwidth. Exactly, and also that we associate comfort with looseness. So because of that, most women tend to go bigger around right. because they think that's going to give them a more comfortable bra. Okay. When in fact what happens is the bra becomes more unstable, okay. and every component part of the bra that's engineered to be stable and to provide support can't. Okay. Most people don't realize that um, back fat is a symptom of a bra being too big. Again, they associate oh, wow. too something tight. And it's hanging over, back that's back. what I would always think. Exactly, you would think it's too tight.
we kind of try to explain to people a little bit about how a bra functions by giving you an example to feel. Okay. So I want you to put your hands in here. Okay. And I want you to pretend like this is a bra and I want you to push your hands out just like that bra was clasped and hugging and holding you all day. Okay. Because remember, you're wearing your bra 14 to 16 hours, right? That's yes. a lot. <laughs> so you'll feel that that bra is retracting, right? Right. You know, it's actually trying to grab back to the body. Right. And as a result, it's working very hard. That lycra is really put to the test. Right. And um, we want a bra to fit firmly. That's where we know we get the proper support. Every time you go up a back width um, or a body frame mm -hmm. size from 32 to 34 and 34 to 36, you'll see that the cup actually gets proportionally deeper. Right. About a half an inch in each direction. A half an inch in depth and a half an inch in width. Mm -hmm. So all C cups and D cups are not the same right. actual depth or volume. And that's what you asked about earlier. Right. Is the sizing different? And the truth is is that there's about one inch of difference per breast as you go up and back with and stay in the same letter so the C's get progressively larger as the body frame gets larger right or it goes one inch deeper as you go up a cup size from B cup to C cup to D cup in the same right. band width. Two okay. things that we thought we'd show you today. Okay. Um, one is about underwires and the other is about how the underwires are sewn into a bra or the, the cups are sewn into a bra and how to get a more supportive or stronger bra. Okay. Okay. Put your bra on. Um, you want the underwire to kind of move around the body, but you see every time I go to pull this out, I'm not yeah. just trying to pull it straight out. It distorts out the it's frame. Just Twisted and turned, right? Yeah, yeah. So as you're moving around and you're active, the same thing is happening. That underwire is twisting and turning. So you want to get a good underwire, and that's yeah. very, very important. This is traditional polyester. It's very inexpensive. It's kind of even harsh when you feel it. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. So um, when you have something like that with a sharp edge on the side, it just makes that bra really uncomfortable. So ladies, you really need to feel the underwire and feel um, the, the casing that the yeah. bra is in. And you know automatically that this is not going to be a comfortable, comfortable bra. You can feel that wire yeah. right through there. Exactly. And we see this a lot more in the European brands that we carry here at Intimacy. If you can see, and you can maybe even feel this here, there's a little core, a hollow yeah. core here in the center. And these are round on the side. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, little plastic coated tips that are much much oh, softer. Oh yeah, right. Um, so when you go to put this on the body, you can oh, see this that. is not turning. Right? Yeah, it's not distorted it's not at all. Distorted at all. And of course, the other thing is putting this into the right case. A perfect example of a casing that is actually great yeah. because it's got. Not only does it have the layers here of the fabric and the cotton felt, but it has a layer of foam. You nice. can feel that. Yes. And you can see that there's no structure or support around right. the underwire at all. It's kind of what we call floating. It's yeah. floating. It's just moving around, right? So there's not a lot of stability. If you wanted to get a better quality bra, you would look for a bra that has what we call the under band ah, that goes underneath. Yeah. And when you have that band that goes underneath, now the underwire is not floating. And of course, if this is pulled tense across here, that. it's extra strong and stable. That looks great. And every woman deserves a fitting. It's free. So we encourage women to come in. It takes about 30 minutes for a little makeover. Right. We can have some fun, bring in different style selections as well. Yeah. Show you how to put together a wardrobe of bras. Okay. An okay. important thing for women to learn. Right. Um, the must-have bras in a wardrobe we'll show you today. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah. I'm ready. Um, one of the things I want every woman to know is that you should always buy a bra firm in the loosest position. That way you can tighten it as the bra actually stretches. Oh. And so we want to make sure that that bra fits nice and firm, and this really does. So Interesting is when you get a European bra, you're not just getting a bra that's pretty, but you're getting a bra that fits well, that's going to be strong and stable, and also give you great beauty. So the combination of all three is what makes such a beautiful collection that feels so great on the body.